Hi guys welcome to my channel before starting subscribe and like the videos it really helps the content from this video are taken from the web novel and manga series of Mushoku Tensai Jobless Reincarnation now please enjoy the video. Sylphie Perspective, then a month later, I saw Rudy at the entrance ceremony, compared to the entrance examination, now it was like he's shining in his uniform. Our eyes met, I was very nervous, that said, he is a special student, now that he is here I thought the opportunity to meet with him and spend time together would not be that much. At the meeting a month ago, we decided on not having excessive contact with Rudy. After that a lot of things were said, but in the end it seems those two do not like Rudy. I have no idea why they are like that. Maybe I am weird, but they told me I can get along with him on a personal level. Excessive contact is not good, but it is okay to be friends. How much is good, how much is not? I think that even being able to have this much is due to Ariel Sama's kindness. Well even that is good enough. Just being able to talk to Rudy is enough for me. But, I wonder how I can speak with him. And, while I am thinking about such things, Ariel Sama is attending classes. Since Ariel Sama is charismatic, she needs to maintain her grades. The melded magic class she was taking was very different from what I was taught. Rudy seems to have learned it from Roxy San. But even though they are teaching the same thing here in Magic University it seems very difficult. Since I was taught by Rudy I can understand them very quickly. But, Luke and Princess Ariel are having a hard time learning it. Also, in order to support Ariel Sama as much as possible, I am teaching them a lot of stuff. But, even though I am teaching using Rudy's method, they don't seem to understand very well. Fitz, will you bring the documents for the next class? Obeying Ariel Sama, I go to the library. The library is outside of the school building. There isn't much time before the next class begins. I have to hurry. And because I've been here for three years I know where to look for material in the library. After thinking for a little while I remembered where the materials for today's class are. I pick them out one after the other. Like this I'll be able to go back to class fast. Ah! When I saw the person in front of the bookshelf I leaked that sound. Rudy was there. I was surprised. I thought we would see each other but I didn't expect to see him here. Nah, what to say? While I was panicking Rudy noticed me. The next moment, Rudy made a deep bow. I am sorry about the other day, it was through my thoughtless actions then that I may have caused Senpei to lose face. I am truly sorry for what I have done. I was thinking about getting a cake to give to you when I properly introduced myself and apologized, but since I just became a new student I've been busy doing this or that. UEA. I, it's fine, raise your head. Apparently, Rudy thinks he has offended me. I was surprised. So those words at the admission day meant this, but now that he said it. When I think about it, my reputation could have been destroyed. I see, for sure, it would be like that. So, that's why Ariel Sama and Luke were in a bad mood as well. I knew from the beginning that I could not win against Rudy. Well, though I didn't think that it would be this overwhelming of a defeat. But for those two, me losing wasn't enjoyable I guess. No, such a thing is okay. Let us put it aside for now. Rude, eh, hey, Rudeus Kuhn. For what reason are you here? Doing a little bit of research, about what? Metastasis events. When I heard those words, I thought. I thought maybe Rudy was thinking along the same line as I am. The metastasis event? Why? I was also a resident of Fedoa territory in the Asura kingdom. Because of that incident I was sent to the magic continent, the magic continent, I was even more surprised. I have heard stories about the magic continent, it's a harsh land in which monsters are all C rank or stronger. Some people go there to do warrior training, but most of them don't come back. So, if someone was teleported there, their chance of survival was mostly zero. Rudy, managed to come back from there. Yeah, it took as long as three years, but I managed to come back. During that time I managed to find my family. But there is still one person I haven't found yet. But there is a good chance, if I examine this in detail, I may find a lead, right? Do you mean, for the sake of that one person you came to this school? That's right. When I heard those words, I reaffirmed Rudis' greatness. I see, you really are amazing after all. Even though coming back from Magic Continent took three years, instead of relaxing, he started to search for another person. Even though just that is pretty amazing, since he received an invitation from Magic University he decided to research the incident as well. You could not find such a person anywhere else. If it were me, coming back after three years which is amazing, I would be resting at the refugee camp. So, what is Senpei doing here? Hearing those words I came back to myself. 
I was in the middle of transferring the materials for the class. Ariel Sama is waiting. I want to talk to Rudy more, but I cannot afford to leave Ariel Sama alone either. Ah. That's right. I was supposed to be bringing these materials somewhere. I've got to run. Rudy is Kuhn. See you later. Ah, sure, later. While I was leaving, I remembered this library is big and has a lot of books, but there are only a few materials regarding metastasis. Even for Rudy, finding material regarding the metastasis event would take a lot of time. Oh, that's right, if it's about metastasis, then a book by Anima is called, Investigation Records of the Metastasis Labyrinth, is a good story you should read, it is in narrative form, but because it is written in an easy to understand way it would be good to start from there. I decided to recommend that book, because it helped me to understand the metastasis better, if it is that, you'll understand the metastasis because it's written so even a child can understand it. Though there were pages missing, that made me feel that I did a bit of a good thing and left the library. Part 3 That evening, I was washing underwear, it is Ariel Sama's underwear. Washing Ariel Sama's clothes is part of my duties, though I say that, there is a reason for it. Ariel Sama's underwear is made from very expensive fabric. Moreover, since it's an Asura Kingdom royalties underwear, it has extra value. In short, selling it would fetch a very high price. In fact, when she first enrolled and had her underwear taken for laundry it was stolen and sold. Four out of five pieces were stolen, and out of those four, three of them were sold. The remaining one was probably kept by the culprit for personal use, and the female students, with no way to counteract such incidents, were nervously saying, I can't believe it. Since Ariel Sama was born and raised in Asura Kingdom and I have lived there it wasn't that surprising for us, since in Asura Kingdom there were a lot more weird people. But, uncomfortable things are still uncomfortable. So, since then, washing Ariel Sama's clothing became my duty. Ariel Sama making me do that was a bit confusing, but since I could wash them along with my own clothes it was okay in the end. By the way, to hide my gender, my underwear is just like Ariel Sama's, though it is in a different color. So to hide it, I usually do the underwear laundry at night and as I was trying to put them on a string to air them one by one. Era, suddenly, looking under the veranda, I was surprised. Wow, even though it's after curfew there was a boy walking there. Based on the dormitory's rules, at this time boys can't walk on this road. There was the underwear thief case as well, though it's not yet the time, the mating season will come as well, and yet, why as a boy, even though it is a shortcut, at this hour the girls on guard duty will surround him soon. Is it good to report this to the girls on guard? Whoever discovers the intruder first has the responsibility to warn the others. No, but I, can't really let them hear my voice all that much. Oh, Era, by any chance, I recognize that person as Rudy. W, Y. Unintentionally, my hand slipped. The panties in my hand fell, and dropped toward Rudy's head. The moment Rudy notices, he catches the pants with incredible speed. Wah, that fast, and I wonder if it is because he was always on guard for the past few years. The movement just now, I feel it's the result of the time he spent on the magic continent. Rudy seems to have noticed that what he is holding in his hand is panties. And he looked up and found me, and figured he caught the pants I dropped. Different from the movement of his hand from before, he has a carefree behavior. I see, he just enrolled here today so he does not know the rules. Rudy is a special student, special students do not have roommates. Since the special students are exempt from attending things like explanation of dormitory rules and all it's not so strange that he does not know the rules. I have to tell him, if you stand there while holding panties in your hand you will with no doubt be mistaken for an underwear thief. Kya, a, 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 a. My worries soon became reality. Suddenly a female student started screaming. The girls on guard duty who lived on the first floor came out. Rudy was surrounded in no time. But, if it's Rudy, he can resolve it somehow? Since I thought that way I was waiting optimistically and watching. I wanted to know what Rudy would do in a situation like this. After all, like when he was in Buina village, will he beat them up? Or will he get out by saying something convenient? Threaten them with magic, or use magic to run away? Rudy did nothing. He seems to have his hand caught by Goraid San and is troubled. That looked like when I was being bullied in Buina village. My head cooled down suddenly. What am I doing? I jumped out from the veranda in a hurry. Went down the stairs and ran until I reached the crowd. He, H, what have we here? Aren't you a bold one, to steal underwear at this time? What, cat got your tongue? Do you think you can win against this many people? Since it was dark and visibility was low, 
It seems that no one has noticed that Rudy was holding his foot using earth magic. As to why he did that, I have no idea, why would Rudy's feet be trembling? I realized, incidentally, I realized, I was reminded of the past, come to think of it, when Rudy drove away Sumar and his gang in the village his feet were trembling. When confronting girls, Rudy was a little jerky. Also when he said, Silphy has been cold lately, he was trembling. I see, Rudy thought he was hated by me so he was scared. Like any other normal boy. Ah, I noticed. I've been viewing Rudy as special. It was the feeling of looking at an older person. But, Rudy's the same age as me. Silphy, is it always okay just to be protected by him? At the end I remembered my father's words, and since I remembered, I vowed to myself that I would rescue Rudy. I'll help, Rudy, I swore so, even if something happens, I'll help Rudy, I swore so, isn't that the reason I was giving it my all? Above all, isn't the cause of this time's incident me? Wait, it's a misunderstanding, wait, I put myself between them, and I defended Rudy desperately, since I came to this school, it's probably the first time I talked to anyone else beside Ariel Sama. I've been silent to that extent. However, the female student who was holding Rudy's hand was stubborn. Stubbornly trying to condemn Rudy. Even though Rudy hadn't done anything wrong. Fu, N, since Silent Fitz says this much, it's probably the truth, but him breaking the dormitory's rules is the truth as well. To set an example I'll have him punished. Set an example. The moment I heard those words, something snapped in me. Someone who knows nothing is going to be punished as an example just to warn others. It was not something to be forgiven, before realizing that I was holding my wand, I was about to use magic at any moment, I am saying he didn't do anything wrong. That's enough, let his hand go, Fi, Fitzsama, or does everyone here want to go to nurse's office? These threatening words are what I learned from Luke when we were still in Asura Kingdom. He said sometimes bluffing is necessary so I have been training to the best of my ability, on the journey to Renoa from Asura, I used it several times against thieves and thugs. I have always been teased by Luke, being told I was childish but it seems to have worked this time. TCH, I get it, Goraid released Rudy's arm, and without saying anything more left that place. With her disappearance the rest of the girls went back to their rooms as well. Finally I take a breath. Phew, it's because Goraid san never listens to other people. I remember her everyday words and actions, she is not a bad person though. However since she is from the beast race, she takes protecting her territory seriously. She has no flexibility. Before saying those things, I better apologize. When you get down to it, this all happened because of me. Sorry, since I dropped the underwear something like this happened. If my hand didn't slip it would not have turned into something this serious. Even Goraid would not have taken excessive action. Probably. No, Fitz Senpei does not need to apologize, you helped me out. From Rudy's answer I got a bad feeling. Somehow, it feels like it was hard for Rudy to talk to me. When I look at him, I see his look has changed, I notice now. I, Rudy has been wary of me until now. I thought it was weird from the beginning, coming to bow profusely, huh so it's like that. If you think about it, I am, silent fits. So he naturally would be wary of me, it's normal for Rudy to be on guard, I'm glad somehow, just now Rudy's wariness toward me vanished. Though I made a mistake, I am finally one step closer to Rudy now. Then, I was explaining the dormitory's rule that when it gets dark you cannot walk on this road. After all Rudy didn't know and was relieved to figure out why this happened. Senpei, thank you very much. Said Rudy while bowing at the end. It was kind of a strange feeling. Long ago when I had been bullied, our positions were reversed. At that time, I, I wonder how I said thank you. When I imagined it I somehow end up smiling. Oh, Rudeus for you to be apologizing feels weird. Eh? Why would you feel that way? Of course that's because at first, I would need to reveal my identity but I am hesitant. Again my anxiety increased. In this atmosphere right now if he says, sorry I don't remember. I tell myself. Honestly, even if he does not remember, isn't it still good? By meeting him as I am and helping him on his way like this. Forgetting the past, and getting along with him as we are. So, I said. Secret. Rudy had a confused expression, I went back to the dorm, of course, I took back the underwear. Though as Rudy caught it before it could hit the ground it's not dirty, but after all Rudy is a boy. It's not like I think of Rudy as being dirty or anything, but I have a feeling that having Ariel Sama wearing underwear which has been touched by a boy isn't a good thing. Should I re-wash it after all, I think that would be better, 
After turning on the light I froze, it was my panties. Rudy had touched my panties. I was in agony due to embarrassment. Part 4 One month later, I was supposed to begin helping Rudy with the metastasis event research on days when Princess Ariel was on holiday, it was a month later. What if he rejects me, or what if I'm dead weight? After all, it would hurt me a lot, but Rudy gave me a warm welcome, it's probably because of that incident, he's letting his guard down around me. I think that it isn't fair to Rudy, but I am happy that I dropped the underwear, though it was embarrassing. When I think about it, I did take a step forward, it was a big step for me, and while not grasping any of the many chances to reveal my identity, I failed to take any more steps forward, and just like that, a year had passed. That's it guys thank you for watching subscribe if you want more and don't forget to like the videos.